Yeah, so this is my monologue for week three. Um, just kind of where I'm at this week, I just started looking more at my mood board. I know I'd started, I'd done a bit on it last week, but I can kind of misinterpreted it. So my mood board this week is just kind of actually what my interests are rather than the social and economical issues. So just starting off with, we have kind of like, I kind of mentioned it last week, we have tillage farming and then associated with that, in our yard, we have a load of pallets and tires and all oil drums laying around Wellingtons. Um, some kind of old bits of uh, furniture to note is at home is my, my principal is a, my uncle is a principal of our old primary school. So we have some old kind of school desks just stored in the shed and um, old bits of steel, hurleys, old tables, stuff like that. So in this mood board, I've explored the world around me. Uh, like I said, I come from a farming background, mainly tillage. So as you can just see that in the evaluation, play hurling resulting in numerous broken hurls taking up space in my home. Uh, uncle's principal in the primary school resulting in some old school desks taking up storage space. So this is just my interest based on, this is just my interest and the kind of using, trying to base my ideas around some of my interests. So tillage farming and hurling. Then going on to need finding, uh, there are numerous social and environmental problems in our world today. For example, deforestation, food waste, mental health, obesity, the list goes on. For this challenge, I decided to base my problem on something that I think everybody can relate to, uh, which is mental health and well-being. It's such a prominent social issue in today's world. Then, as I mentioned in the previous slide, just some material that I have at home is the old school desks. I know it's past history. Um, we used to use it as a counter for an old shop that we used to play when we were younger um, and I'd like to see it be given a new life while helping it helping out a great cause so some just you can see from the move from the mind map which i made online um some environmental issues we have deforestation global warming so from deforestation we have animal habitats that are being destroyed due to harvesting and the prominent bushfires in australia the years needed for the regrowth of trees uh, the cost in deforestation through machinery, labour, then you have the emissions, you're burning fossil, fossil fuels. And then the poor treatment of waste timber, which is kind of one of the central elements of this module. So this then results back to construction studies, because I've seen it on teaching practice, the amount of waste timber that's left around is just brought home and burnt for firewood. Uh, I think there should be a bit of... Um, more reusing going on in secondary schools. Then you have the likes of pallets and farmyards and just other general bits of cardboard that's left around schools. Then you can go down to global warming, you have climate change, you have your bushfires, water shortage, fossil fuels, poor disposal of waste, through like landfill incineration. Then if you look at social issues, uh, one of the main ones that I found was mental health and wellbeing. So you have your clean flu food, which like, in my opinion, clean food, clean lifestyle will just give you a healthy mindset. Just that's for me. So you have your food production, food waste, then you have outdoor activities, hobby generation, positive mindsets. This is prominent in secondary school students, and then which is the new junior cycle well-being subject. Then another social issue is upcycling and recycling. You see a lot of um, new new ideas such as the junk couture in secondary schools, where they're using older cycling materials to make up kind of clothes and they're doing fashion shows and then you have waste timber and woodwork rooms, cardboard boxes. At home, you have your food containers, old desks, furniture. And for the economy, economy it is saving money and it's adding value to objects and decre decreasing poor disposal of waste through landfill and, and incineration. So that's just my idea and thinking of the social and environmental issues. Um, so mental health and well-being is a prominent, prominent social issue in today's world. Brought me to the subject of well-being in junior cycle schools, which I've mentioned, become more healthy lifestyles and positive mental health. So the consumption and production of food has become rather large environmental issue through the poor disposal of waste food and production of unhealthy processed foods. So the amount of food waste produced in Ireland is catastrophic. And then I feel there's a need for to develop students' mindset on the ease of growing foods and the benefits of composting the waste. I feel this will contribute towards addressing the real world issue of mental health and well-being through getting students to be active in going outside growing their own produce, eating healthily, understanding the benefits of eating healthy and how it can benefit your positive mindset. Through the, and then through the composting of waste produce, students can generate their own fertilizer, which is then in turn not having as much dumping and is actually helping them grow their own produce. 
So this idea came about came about mainly based on from my background at tillage farming. As we grow our own carrots, potatoes, parsnips, then we have oats, barley, etc. I also feel refreshed after spending time outside looking after these crops and I strongly believe it is beneficial for mental health and keeping positive attitude. Being involved in sports, I have a passion for healthy eating and clean diets. Clean foods are a vital component to a healthy mind, in my opinion. In converting my desk to this growing area, I think it can be used in schools with a lack of green areas in order to produce, grow and produce and encourage students to be active in looking after crops. So kind of just an, an idea of a problem statement that I was looking at this week was healthy active lifestyles can be a positive impact on students' mental health and well-being. Design and realize a sustainable artifact from recycled material to aid in food production and waste treatment of food among secondary school students. So it's just an idea. It's going to change. I know it's going to change. Then this is just my initial idea of the, based on the pro, further problem statement. I'm changing my school desk into a unit where students can grow fruit and vegetables in an area where there may be no grass or soil available. I believe this aids in real world issues of mental health and well-being, which I've mentioned all previously before. Um, so you can just see that the desk is being converted into an area of divided into four segments just for uh, dividing up your fruit, vegetables, etc. And then underneath you have an area for putting your compost. Um, I see I've highlighted it can be lined with cartons, so that's recycling, milk cartons, etc. And people can grow, grow a load of different materials just by filling up these cartons with soil. Uh, the recycled steel is from the base of the table. And then this idea also links into sustainable development goals through good what number one, good health and well-being, two, quality education, three, sustainable cities, four, responsible consumption and production, and then climate action. So in any way, evaluation is I feel like a positive start and made in the right direction. Uh, I think I need to, I'm going to have to alter the design to make it fit the 450 by 450. Uh, the picture you can see there is the actual desk at home. It's in all right condition, but it will need a lot of work done to it. Uh, and then going forward, I aim to use in conjunction with the five main, five main critical sustainable categories, looking for the material health, reutilization, renewable energy, water stewardship, and social fairness, along with the history of my material, which was discussed in this week's lecture with Keelan. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at in my thinking for this week. So uh, thank you.